All right, I'm gonna start tearing down this uh, short block here because I was doing a case saver over here on this side, somewhere. There, that one. Oh, I need to put case savers in there. I guess I need to do some more. Anyway, I was doing one outside the door there and a big gust of wind came and blew shavings inside the engine. So that sucked. So I'm gonna take the case apart, get rid of any shavings that I can find and then put it back together. And hopefully have another good running 1600 to add to the arsenal and get one of the other cars running. So here's a common thing. Some people <laughs> have different techniques on how to remove the gland nut off the flywheel here. I dug out an old manual. It was in German, so um, I was trying to translate it. And I'm pretty sure it said, get a forklift to secure the motor, and then I get a big, what is it, vegan ratchet, a vegan ratchet, and uh, put all your body weight on that gland nut to break it loose so we'll give it a shot according to the Germans or my interpretation of the manual uh, if you don't have a forklift I don't know what you'd do you're just, you're just screwed there we go Little more pressure. Let's see how that works. Yeah, everybody needs a ratchet like this. I don't know where this one came from. My dad got it. I found it long after he had uh, passed away. This is definitely what he used it for. It's the only one inch socket I've got there. <laughs> inch and 17, oh, 17 16ths. Right, well, I don't know what it's supposed to be metric, but let's see if this mofo is on there tight. They're supposed to be tight. Oh, it's still moving the motor more pressure down on there. Hopefully they don't crack the oil cooler. Or crack the case. This case. Here we go. Uh, yeah, that's on there. Alright. I have to set the phone down here. Put some man muscle behind this mofo. There we go. That's how you do it. You miss the good stuff. Yeah, let's take it all the way off. That's nice and loose. Yeah, these are supposed to be on there with like 350 foot pounds or something. My torque wrench don't go that high. Ooh, looks like there's some silicone goopy. Ah. Yum yum. Some girl was giving me shit about my fingers today. Cause they're all nasty because I've been working on cars too much lately. We got all the dowel pins still in place. That's a good sign. Had one where they uh, they weren't all there. <laughs> That's not a good feeling. All right, we can back off on the forklift now. Don't know what I do without a forklift. I am lucky to uh, have access to this thing. 
forklifts are awesome. I always wanted a you know a hydraulic post lift in the ground, but yeah, I like a forklift. Probably better because it's mobile. Just need some longer forks on it. And the Volkswagens are so light that you know it's no big deal. It struggles a little lifting up the Dodge van, but just the front or the back or one side at a time is fine. All right, yeah, you gotta get. I got two of these just because I use them a lot and I lose one, so these are cheap. Everybody, every Volkswagen person needs a flywheel lock like that. All right, this can sometimes be a pain to get off. Well, it's good that it's on there and it doesn't just fall off. So, I'll have to get my rubber mallet hammer. Start tap, tap, tapping. But that's how you do it, man. Use the forklift, hold the motor down, get your big ass wrench or your big ass socket with a jack handle, and hang your body from it like a monkey. Bust it loose, and then uh, you're good to go. And to put it back on, just invert, reverse the process.